there everyone and welcome back to Mega Aquarium. Welcome back to this big playthrough that we are doing. Last time out we began to make some plans. We began to make some inroads into bringing this aquarium back around and up again before we're expanding out to this side which will eventually become our cold water area of the aquarium. And of course we have a lot of fish ready and waiting who can go into it into those areas uh this episode though we are still working our way through the uh the freshwater or sorry the tropical stuff we've got the freshwater fish here that i didn't actually realize we still had because we've actually now longer uh, sorry no longer got any salt water tropical fish left we only have the freshwater ones left so we've got uh, a couple of these to do but we are by the look of it going to have our first aquarium uh that it needs land which means we are going to be using the small beach tank here um, at some point for the turtles. I think you can still have fish in there as well, I believe. But what we do, I'm not sure actually looking at this. Is it so? I mean, they will go in the water. They're not going to go under, under it. So it doesn't look like they care whether it's neutral or acidic. These ones, that, uh, that one doesn't matter. So we could put like some of these uh, gardeners killfish in there. Doesn't sound all particularly... Uh, Okay, they can go in. They're not. They're not bullies. They're not. Uh, they're not going to be a problem. So these can go in there. I think they are a nibbler. But they're not nibbler. Bu -bu 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 -bu, so that's fine. Do uh, they're armored? Yeah, that's fine. They will grow to size eight. So they're not the biggest ones in the world. Doesn't like air conditioning. That's fine. Needs five different decorations. Needs some lights. Yeah, I think these are okay. I think they can go together. They do need supplements as well. But these two can go together. So at some point, then we don't have enough money right now. Uh, how big can this beach tank get? Not huge, but big enough. And I believe that the fish can go in there still as well. What was, it, what was the capacity of that tank? Only up to 50, and how big are those fish? Oh, they're tiny. That's fine. Yeah, we can have a whole bunch of them in there as well. That's fine. Right, okay. Uh, let's unpause. Let's get this on the rogues. We need to start earning some money. We have already got one small little bit there where we're going to uh, allow people through obviously you're going to need some benches and other bits and pieces because they can't be more than two feet away from a bench from a toilet or a coffee machine at all times as we found out in the last episode um i don't think we've got anything else we need to worry about just for the moment i am going to need to i think i already did it in the last one didn't i extended zone four out to cover yes i did okay that's fine I'm still trying to work out, you know, uh, where, I don't know where it is. Is it in here? Yeah, here. I'm still trying to work out at what point any of this is actually needed. I just, I cannot work out a use case for where this is going to be needed. Because it always ends up back onto the the same level. So we're not going up or down a level here. I just cannot work it out. I do want to put them in. I just can't work out. Maybe I need to watch like a video. Maybe my creativity levels are just not good enough to be able to incorporate these in. I mean, it kind of looks cool and everything, but... Yeah... We'll see. We'll, we'll try and figure out a way, but at the moment I just cannot think of a way in which to make those actually worthwhile. Right, how are we doing on monies? So how much was that tank, by the way? So the small beach tank is going to be... It's near a thousand. Okay, that's okay. And fish-wise, these are 259 a piece. Do they need to be in pairs or can they be... Yeah, we can, we'll put two in there so they can breed. And then we'll have a bunch of these guys in there as well. Okay, right. Welcome back, everybody. Sorry for that. Uh, I had a phone call that came through that I was sort of half expecting. Uh, and then the game just decided to crash on me. So, um, yeah. We uh, thankfully didn't do anything. So, I haven't lost any progress. Um, I, honestly, I can't, <laughs> I can't even remember where we were, what we were talking about. I think we were beginning to make a plan for the beach tank. Uh, what we got here? Five red stripe earth eaters. Earth eater, eh? Uh, no, we're gonna. I'm not gonna worry about any of these things for a little while. I feel like we have kind of enough on our plate as it is. 
Okay. I am thinking about having a tank sort of here and maybe here as well as this one here and then having the, the beach one up here. So what we're going to go with, we're going to go for a, a deep wall tank here. We're going to buy out that there and we're going to delete those. We're going to have ourselves a deep wall tank. It's not, it doesn't need to be need to be too massive just simply like that and we'll have one there like that and then we're going to have another deep wall tank over there actually do you know what we're going to we'll just we'll have a deep we'll have a deep wall tank here about that sort of size this one, I've changed my mind, this one is going to be a corner, uh, a corner tank. Like so. Just as I thought we're going to have to move some things around behind here to make all this kind of work, which is fine. I knew that was going to happen anyway. Maybe it does make sense to actually move this one along one. Just that little bit more room. Okay, no, not a staff gate. We want Pirate Cove paint. So, okay. We should be in a position. I don't know what. I'm going to buy that lot there. I'm also going to buy this lot. I'm just going to replace that with just normal walls, I think. and then we'll have stuff around there like that and I will probably do the same there actually because there's a bit more room to have all the machines behind like that okay there we go um, as a result I don't think we need quite as much uh, space over here Probably okay. Uh, right, keep the keep the money rolling in. Everything's growing, and breeding, and God knows what else. Tub garnered, gurnard, gurnard. <laughs> um, we can unlock it if we just get it. It's a cold water one though, so we're going to annoy that one because we don't necessarily need to worry about it. Um, right, Jill, you've reached your best level for feeding. Only mechanicism. <laughs> I know that's not a word before you come at me in the comments. Right, um, so. Not an aquarium. Freshwater tropical fish. Um, so we could probably put the could put angel fish in this one. They are nibblable. And maybe the shrimp in the other one. And they're nibblable as well. Likes to share with at least two. Okay, maybe we can't. Actually, you can't really go in anywhere, can you? That's not a freshwater one. That's a saltwater tank. Um, okay, well, these guys can go in here, though. So... They're all in there. Let us now put some attachments... We've got... Do we have the mega thing unlocked? I thought we did. Large combis. Oh, I thought we had the mega job. Or the, the mega combi, even. Um, okay, let's put, let's put that on there like that. That should be enough to do water. Yeah, that's fine for water and for heat. Uh, we now need... Yeah, okay, fine. Bit of that, we can get a uh, an RO machine, which would be 50 odd. We're going to need a uh, an RO membrane dispenser in this 
closer in. We'll put one there like, like that. So it's nice and close. We're not quite there, are we? We need another... We get another log in. We'll have one of those in there at the back. That should be enough to get us over the line. It is lovely. And we just need some just general plant stuff. Anything else we can put in there? Bar tree is way too big. All of this stuff is now in, isn't it? Like so, do we have red food in here? We do not. We need some mussels. over here as well. It's going to get very messy on the layout. Let's keep all this stuff over here. We've got an RO membrane thingy there. We can actually probably get rid of that or maybe put that, put that over there. And this one can go like that. Okay, so that's another, another one done. We can also maybe put on a science poster. For you, an ecology poster. For you, oh, get ourselves a toilet going in here as well. Let's get let's get this area set up. No, not got enough money. Shock horror. The good thing is, you do that, it actually blends into the corner quite nicely, doesn't it? Okay, we'll have ourselves some benches along here. Um, just going to run all the way along and have some coffee machine stuff over there, and then we'll have some more stuff over in this corner over here. Of course, as always, we're having to wait for more monies. What is going on here? Can't find a vertical surface. You need a vertical surface to breed on, apparently. Which is that simple okay uh, is that a vertical surface is it oh it's the flat surface is it that's no, a vertical surface we need I don't think we got anything of that I am yeah I'm fairly fairly certain we have nothing that's classed as a vertical surface Okay, well, they won't be breeding anytime soon. Do we get something in here? Can't really tell because you can't click on anything. Right, let's... Um, a nice long seat in there. The machine there. Fizzy drinks and chocolate. All right next to the toilet, as you do. Do we do, a, do we do a podium talk? We could do a podium talk here, couldn't we? I'm going to need to make sure. Not only do we have... Do we have a mic headset in here somewhere? Not at the moment, no. So we'll put that in like so. There's someone who does the talking. Uh, you will do... So, uh, sort that, uh, we'll do it now because otherwise I'm going to forget. So if we go into zone four, I'm pretty sure we've got everybody already selected as not doing the talking. So let's see if we can't find anyone who's a good talker. Two, any advances on two? Uh, yeah, you'll you'll do. In you come, Peter. That one. You will be in 
Nothing but talking. It's your only job. You're coming in here to give talks and speeches. That is all you are going to do. Because I think that's all you... Uh, we could get him to do gift shop as well, but no. We'll leave him there. That's fine. Um... Give him, we give him some flat. We'll give him a flashcard as well. To help him, help him along. There we go. Excellent. Right back to this. Uh, let's get some. Not enough money, of course. But we're almost ready to let people through this section. To be brutally honest, in, into here. fact and that's uh let's open up the gates and then over here make sure you move on down this way folks once i have enough money to put this down Those large nitrate reactor. That's too much. Get rid, get rid, get rid. And then as we go down here, we can have, we have a whole bunch of stuffs along here. Excellent. And then we will probably need some more shares because they all want shares all the time. So we need to get a toilet in there in the corner again, aren't we? There we go. Right. So that is this area up to date. Everything's covered as well, apart from that bit. Take away that bit. Good. Okay, so that's that done. Why are they... Why is there a problem here? Oh, they've not been fed yet. They should be getting fed now. Okay, we just need to keep an eye on feeding levels again. There's a lot of uh, fish to feed. They're all happy in there, aren't they? We need to have a look at here. Are there any fish that are currently unhappy? Because I've not really been looking around a great deal. And those are the baby ones. Baby ones. I think every other fish. Yeah, every other fish is happy as shit. Lovely. Happy as a pig in shit, as they say. I'm thinking maybe we do something along here. Some kind of decoration. Decorate it in some nice way. Make it all like symmetrical. Money again. One of those uh, achievements, actually, wasn't it based on number of guests in the uh, in the aquarium? We must be getting pretty close to completing that now. And then what can we have in the middle? There we go. Just, just something, you know? Just something to break it up. Can we paint those railings as well? I think we can. We can indeed. There we go. 
Right, okay, so they're all in there, so that's fine. These Midas Chich lids and the, the, whatever the other ones are, just do not stop shagging. Um, yeah, we'll, un we'll, we'll, we'll unlock you. I'm gonna take that. Right, okay, we are, <coughs> excuse me, pretty much good to go. Just got to keep an eye on the feeding here. Because it might be that we need to get yet another person in here to do some feeding. Other than that, we are in a good spot. We're still losing a lot of money, though. Quite a lot of fish in here again, haven't we? Yeah, we need to sell a few of these. And where's the other fishes that were going nuts all the time? Uh, it's the, is it these ones? Yeah, the pine cake tetras. Just constant babies all the time. Still, they're a good they're a good money spinner. Right, okay. So we don't have anything. Oh, we did get the Yeah, we got the lionfish. We could put those in that tank there. They would be on their own, unfortunately. Until we unlock some more stuff. Now this, in theory, should be going up. Where's the data signs? Because these are these are track stuff, don't they? Like that. Let's get some of those in there because they can generate some more uh, some more prestige. What are the guests? Do you know what? I've not looked at this for a very long time. What do they hate the most? Uh, we sorted that one out. That's fine. Hungry bins. Um, toilets. Toilets. Tank 14 looks a bit lifeless. The Amazonian angelfish looks stressed. And toilet 5 is disgusting. The angelfishes are fine. Which one is tank 14? Uh, is it this one? Tank 14. No. What's tank 14 then? Oh, it's that one. Looks a bit lifeless. I mean... I don't want, really know what you want me to do. It's just got some... Some of these guys in there. It's just got some disco mushrooms. Not every tank has to be uh, full up with tons of stuff. What have we got here? Oh, we've got another... A mirror Antheus. Yeah, I think we will take that because that could put those in there with those lionfish. Uh, Alejandro, right, what is it that you're doing? I've been giving giving you jobs to do. So you're actually doing feeding. Okay. Alright, well you can switch to that and do get some more skill on that. How are we doing on food? I think we're okay. I think they are just about keeping on top of everything. I think we will <clears throat> probably need to get another person in once we get one tank there and then another tank over here. Which would then complete this sort of pirate section of the aquarium, which is what we're looking to do here. Um, now, the big question is, we've got enough money actually, we could just build this now. Okay, so 
question is, is that where do we put this? Or do we just put it in here and get rid of that one? Do we get rid of this one instead? There's nothing there at the moment. Let's get rid of that. So well, actually, what we're going to do is we're going to put the animals into here. It's looking a bit untidy in there, isn't it? It is beginning to bug me, even though I don't actually care that much. It is slowly beginning to bug me. We are getting awfully close to this. Just a couple hundred more before we can get there. So in here, we're going to wait. We need to let our money build up. of one of the regal tanks. What are, they? are these shoulders? They've got to be in groups of four. Groups of three, sorry. They are reasonably big, those humpback snappers. So let's get rid of... That should allow final horse-eye jack to grow up to 27. So he's going to grow up by what? Was that nine? Yeah, he'll have enough space, right? He, he can now grow up and have to stop getting that damn message every... Every single time. I said on the last episode, didn't I? At some point, I'm going to have to make a decision on that. And there you go. Decision made. Okay. So, let us maybe do some do some of this first. These need light. If I remember rightly, they said these need lights. Was it the tortoises that needed lights? Yeah, they need quite bright ones as well. The ten, ten strength ones. Power lights. Now, can I put a fish in here as well? Can indeed. So we can put a bunch of fish in there like that. They have to be... In... Oh, God, no, what am I doing? Get away, get away. It annoys me that every time I hit escape, it always goes back to that level, to the, to the main menu. I keep using it as a method of which getting out of these menus here. I said it had to be in groups of two, right? I think that's what they said. Yeah. So we've got eight in there, so they're fine. Uh, and then now, we are going to need to put in... We've got a mega filter. And we do... We haven't got a mega combi, have we? Was that in the next thing? Oh, the mega damn filter's there. That was what I was thinking of previously. That's fine. Okay, so we'll go with... Large combi. Gives us plenty of the heat that we're looking for. And then we just need probably a large filter. Maybe one and then maybe a protein skimmer as well. Can't use a protein skimmer on a freshwater tank, interestingly. Nitrate reactor. Get us over the line. It does indeed. That gets us to 90%. <coughs> that is lovely. Uh, across all animals, the tank needs at least eight. These want. These want neutral water. They, the trouble is, is that they want logs. The trouble is, is that they make the water more acidic by doing that. Which means I'm going to have to start. Which means I'm going to have to use RO machines or something else. So how do you make it? Hang on a minute. I can't make the water. I can't make the water have this this bogwood stat that these fish seem to want. So it needs eight bogwoods, but it has to be a neutral water requirement. So how do I counteract? Am I being stupid here? How do I counteract the acidity of the water? Is there something coming up that I can unlock to, to help with that? It doesn't look like it, does it? Is 
say what the compressor does. No. Um. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand how I can, how I counteract that. Place on land masses inside the tank, yeah. This isn't gonna let me. Uh, freshwater compatible, yeah, that's fine. I mean, yeah, I don't know how we're gonna do that. I mean, they're happy enough now, but yeah, I don't understand. Unless anything's being unlocked that will give me the, um, the ability to make it. There's, there's got to be a way. Am I missing something here? Because if I let's just let's just add one in for the sake of argument, right? So if I add that one in, ah, look, no, you can get to 50 before it becomes acidic. Okay. So we can get around it that way. I'll wait for some more money, but there we go. We're okay. So the water stays neutral until it goes above 50. Okay, there we go. That's how you do it. Right, let us wait now quickly until we get enough money and then this tank will be done and then once we get enough money we can whack the two turtles in there. As per usual, it is taking forever to earn any money on this. we go right we have fully happner fully happy sorry gardeners killfish they have every requirement fulfilled now uh right do we have so they want brine shrimp i don't think we've got brine shrimp in there they, has he has he had to walk off somewhere else to go and get that what does he want that's oh, brine shrimp supplements that's herring no we don't we don't have that in here there we go All right there's another another food type that is now in here what are you what have you just come and nicked oh you're, you're doing that get rid of a few more of these shall we Right, okay, we are looking good. Right, so let's get in now two of these. So they grow up to eight in size. So that will make 16 and take them to 32. So we could have three or even four in there. What's four eights? Four eights is 32. That would take us to 48 out of 50. Wouldn't leave any space for breeding though, so we just go with the two. Uh, these guys are very, very happy. They eat mussels, which I think are those ones there. Yes, they are. 
Um, they are a plant destroyer. May eat or damage plants to the point of death. Okay. There are two plant destroyers and 22 in the tank. There is a 0% chance that this animal will destroy a plant each day. Well, there you go then. So, we just basically, we've, we've out, out planted them. But there we go. Yeah, we've got two little turtles in there. They will grow up to be a little bit bigger. Um, there is, I think, going to be a need for something that they can breed. Uh, they can't do it until they're fully grown, but it's going to want something that they can breed on, right? And the Atlantic poppy, this thing, is supposed to be able to go onto land. I'm not entirely sure why it doesn't allow me to. It doesn't really make a great deal of sense to me. I can't work out if it's... Unless you have to, you have to place something that it sits on top of. So, just for example, because yeah, the flat slate has, goes inside. Yeah, I'm not sure. We'll see what happens when these guys. Get to, get to their fully grown length. But at the moment, we can't put anything up the top there because it won't let us. This space, so it says, it says here, this object can be placed on land masses inside tanks. <laughs> that's, a, that's a land mass, isn't it? That's what it classes as. Whatever. Keep going. Run the money up. Right, there we go. He's now finally grown to his finished side. 190 guests. We'll take that, we'll take that bet. Red tail catfish. Can go into either. He grows up to 42 in size. And they will eat crustaceans up to size 16 or animals up to size 16. <whistles> okay, we'll take, we'll take those. Only 600. 600 quid. Uh, right, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a good stopping point. So we've, we've added on the couple of tanks that I wanted to. We've got them all kind of up and running. We've kind of got this area all up and running. It looks a bit barren over here, doesn't it? But obviously we're going to now push people on into the next area so over here we can probably just begin to begin to lay it out a little bit here we do it like this to keep a uh, to keep a gap between um yeah over here is going to be the start of our new area now, of course, what do we what do we make the next area? That is the question. I think we may have already talked about this, but I can't remember what it was I said. Now, are we done? I suppose the big question is, is that are we finished now? Well, we've got the shrimp there. We've got a couple of saltwater fish to fit in. Just thinking, do we do we do we kick it off now, or do we do we uh, do we bin off the tropical fish side of things and now start to merge? into the cold water area and now build out a new area for that is there anywhere over here just for as an example 64 out of 100 could i throw in these these are they need 30. In theory they could go in couldn't they uh they're wimps they need shoulders none of them are breeders coral beauty is a wimp i think these can go in there you know one, two, three, four, five. I don't have enough money. What I do need, though, is money to build. Uh, where are we? This one. A large combi on that. Large 
much double filter to go there. Come on, monies. How much money is this damn thing? Come on, before me, before me fish die. Jesus Christ, how much is it? There we go. Right, we got we got ourselves there eventually. Right, where else do these things need? They do need supplements. We don't actually have anyone over here doing supplements. They also need three three more thingies to go in anyway. So we'll get right towards the end of the day and then we'll stop. Do they need lights? No, they dislike lights. Supplements go in there like that. We are going to have a supplement manual dispenser go in. How much is that going to cost me? Come on, we need to get, try and get this in before the end of the day. There we go, we've got that in. Right, so now we need to find. Uh, this is zone two, I believe, isn't it? Is this zone two? It is zone two. Who is our best feeder in here? Caleb. Yeah, so you can do that. You can also take supplement manual, guys. You're the only one who can do the supplements. Um, don't want you doing that, Penny. Sven. Yeah, yeah, you can do the membranes. That's fine. Yeah, I'm not sure you'll need to, but I'll leave. I'll leave that anyway. Uh, Grace, what are you doing? Yeah, you're doing cleaning a gift shop. That's fine. Romeo, what are you supposed to be doing, Romeo? You're you're a fixer, so that's you there. Right there, you go. I think everybody else now. Who's do, who's doing the feeding? We've only got two people doing feeding here. One, two, three, there's five tanks here. I've only got two people feeding. We just lost a lot of money. We need to keep an eye on these fish because there's every chance these fish are going to be in a spot of bother here. Caleb, for some reason, has, had to, has decided he had to go off to the other area to go and get the supplements, even though they're right there. Uh, you can also have... Oh, he's already got that. Right. And they're now not at risk of dying, which is good. We just need to get some friends in there for them. We need to get three more friends in there. I believe we have space. What are they? They're five a pop, aren't they? So 15, so it would take us to 94. So yeah, we've got, we got space. wait for the money to think, well, prestige has gone through the floor all of a sudden, for some strange reason. Maybe it's because we had some unhappy fish for a moment. It does very much seem like our guys are doing a really good job on feeding and stuff, and they are just whipping round. Right. Come on then, let's get these fish. How much are these fish? 214 each. So we're going to need just about six, about 600 quid. So one, two, and then one more to finish them off. There we go. Right, they should now be fully happy. Uh, we've now got a problem with the water quality again. Right, there we go. Right, now we will end it. That, there, fixing. 
There we go. Right, there we will fix, and there we will end. Uh, we have done a lot here. We've got, um, yeah, we've got some new stuff in over there. I think we're going to have to try and do the same thing with the other ones. So the lionfish and try and fit him in somewhere. Maybe, I don't know where we're going to fit in this this shrimp. I don't know where we're going to do it just because he's a quite a difficult fish to look after. He's got a lot of requirements. Whether we have to give him his own little small um, tank and just fill it full of shrimp. Maybe we do that. I don't know. Let's do a little small one over here. Maybe just sort of like almost copy this one. Um, but yeah, in the next episode, we are finally going to start on our cold water areas. Now, we've got an absolute ton of fish ready and waiting for us uh, to go into this area. And hopefully then we might we might just get to the 3200 mark and get ourselves to the level, level number seven um, or level number eight, I think it will be. And then, yeah, we're into... I wouldn't say that the, the final leg of this playthrough, we're not a million miles from it. We've now done one half of it, I guess. Um, it really depends on how quickly we can get through the others. But we need to find more ways of making money because it is seemingly take. It doesn't take long to get the money, but you just lose so much money at the end of each night that we just need to try and keep our head above water a bit better than we are. So with this, we've only got... We've got a toy, a toy stand, a new toy stand... And a popcorn cart coming in. We've not got tons of stuff coming in on the next unlock that's going to help us do that. So the only thing I can maybe look at doing is seeing whether or not... Um, I mean, I could do a complete overhaul of the staff maybe. It's just to see if we can trim the, some of the staff numbers down. Um, but I think we are... This is the thing. I think we are still making money, right? I mean, look, we just spent... We're spending 1,400 quid a day on staff salaries, but we're getting 1,500 quid on entrance ticket, 1,200 quid on food. So we're, we are making money. Net cash flow at the end of every day, look. We're over 1,000, making 1,000 every day. So it's not like we're losing money. We've just got to be a little bit, uh, maybe a little bit more patient, let's say, with, with what we're doing. But anyway, thank you very much, everyone, for watching. I believe this is part number eight that we have just completed today uh we will be continuing this on i hope you're enjoying this of course i've just started my norland playthrough as well so go and check that out and uh yeah thank you very much everyone stay safe and we'll see you all again very soon